So now let's take an example uh, using rectangular coordinates. We have a conveyor belt that's moving at a given speed, 4 meters per second, and we're given a coefficient of static friction, so this is a friction type problem, between the conveyor and a 10 kilogram package. The question is, what if we're going to stop the conveyor belt but we don't want the package to slide, what is the shortest time that the belt can stop in? All right, so as the belt stops, we're creating an acceleration. That acceleration is creating a force on the block or on the package, B. And we want that force to be less than the force of friction so it doesn't slide. So we're given an initial, position, or an initial velocity, which is 4. Our final velocity is going to be stopped, so that's going to be 0. And we've got the time which is what we're trying to find. So if we're, we start at 4 and we end at 0, we have some sort of acceleration which we're going to have to find from the limitations placed by the force. So let's draw a free body diagram of this box. There's our box. We've got a normal force going up. We've got a weight going down. The weight is mg, normal force. We've got a friction which is going to go this way, right? Because if it were to slide, it would slide in the direction opposite that it's moving. And our velocity is in this direction, our acceleration is in that direction. So if we sum our forces in the x direction, we have friction is equal to mass times acceleration in the x direction. And that's the acceleration we're interested in over here. We know it doesn't move in the y direction. So our sum of forces in the y direction is going to give us that the normal force up, we'll say up, and we'll say to the left, okay. So normal force is up and mg is down and it's not accelerating in the y direction, right, because it's sitting on the, the floor or on the belt. So n is equal to mg. And f is equal to mu n equals m a x. So if n is equal to mg, we get that, uh, well, we can plug this in. Mu is given, that's 0 0.2. Mass is given, which is 10. g is 9.81, because we're using... Uh, SI system. The mass is 10 and the acceleration in the x direction is what we're trying to find. So we can find acceleration in the x direction of 1.962, which is negative, right, because positive is to the left. We drew our acceleration to the, to the right. That would be make f negative as well. All right. So now our acceleration over here on the kinematic side is 1.962. We can write V is equal to V naught plus AT because this is a constant, right? And plugging things in, we get 4 minus 1.962. Our final velocity is 0. Solve for T. T is going to be 2.04 seconds, and that then is our answer. So we used our force equations over here, we used our kinematic equations, and ended up solving for our time.